Ah, uh, it's me, King Human. Hey, watch this video. I'm gonna show you guys how to make bank with something that I'm gonna give you absolutely free. Check this out. This is pure gold. Watch this. All right, all right, all right. Check this out. Stick with me. I'm gonna show you step by step exactly how to cash in on this and cash in big. So first off, I came to rawpixel.com. R-A-W-P-I-X-E-L dot com. Come in here, open a free account. And then what you wanna do is you wanna come up here and click on public domain. And then what I've done is I've typed in antique maps, public domain. We are making these available to use as you like with a CCO license, right? Creative Commons license. So if you come through here, you will find all kinds of really trippy public domain maps, antique maps. Now, believe it or not, people go mental for these and they love having them in their offices, on their walls, whatever. So here's what you wanna do. Let me just pick one at random. Let's say this one right here, right? So this is a map of the Americas. We've got North America, South America, and Central America. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this. All right, here we are. I've downloaded the image and now I'm just gonna inspect it. All right, I also wanna show you this because sometimes you can get some images that are low resolution and small pixel size. So I come here to upscale.media and what this is gonna do is it's gonna take your crummy low res images and it's gonna really tighten them up and make them high resolution so that they can be blown up if you wanna do print on demand and put them on canvas. So I just click on upload image. Okay, and here it is. And you can see it's upscaled it 2x up to 3600 by 2790 but here's the other thing i always do i always come in here and click on enhance quality and run it again and that's going to really tighten it up all right and it's done with enhanced quality now what is enhanced quality well let's do a little comparison here all right if i if you put your cursor on here it'll show you a side by side before and after so look at the text, America. Look at the before and look at the after. That's the quality difference you're gonna get. So you're gonna be able to have really good high quality image files. And all you have to do now is download this image. Now, once you download your image, you can sell this over and over and over again Okay, so real quick, just to give you an idea, I uploaded to Printify, and this is the kind of thing you can do. This can be drop shipped. Very simple, very easy stuff, right? Cost on this for a museum framed work like this, size 11 by 18, of course, you can get different sizes and different designs. I'm not gonna go into all the different Printify things but this costs $24.97. So you would put your margin onto this and just put this on Etsy. But frankly, I have a better way to do this. Again, instead of when they strike gold in the hills, being one of the guys to go up panning for gold, be the guy at the bottom of the hill selling the picks and shovels and you'll make money, right? So instead of telling you to do Everybody else is going to tell you, hey, go on Etsy and make a listing and start selling these things, right? Not what I'm going to tell you. This is what I'm going to tell you. So let's take a look at this. I came to Etsy and I typed in digital downloads of wall art. And this is what I'm finding. Look at this. Eclectic mega bundle, 120 eclectic wall art pieces, $16.83. And he sold 1.4 thousand, right? So do the math on that. Here's 300 eclectic, $17.57, another 1.1 thousand. 
and this is all just digital downloads so it's completely hands-off and you know if you put together a collection of these type of things antique maps right the other thing that I did that I really made money with I want to show you this this is uh, Japanese woodcuts I did this way back in the day and I made a lot of money with a portfolio of Japanese woodcuts that I put together these are all antique so I've come to a different website for this this is archive.org a r c h i v e dot o r g and then I just came into public domain and I typed in Japanese woodcut and you can see there are a lot of these now what you want to do is you want to make sure these are public domain I'm pretty sure all of them are but just double check and what I did when I did this let's go up to this samurai I kind of liked this one so take a look at it okay the image finally downloaded and you can see the image has some issues right you can't just use it this way so if I were gonna use this and this is what I did when I did this business back in the day is I took this into Photoshop and I cleaned it up I just I, I cropped it and I enhanced the color I digitized it I upscaled it and I gave it better resolution and I made an entire suite of these Japanese woodcuts and I sold them as royalty free images that people could sell they could print them out they could sell them now here's the interesting thing about these royalty free images once you put your adaptation on it in other words if you take one of these uh, geishas in a bathhouse image and you take it into Photoshop and you redesign it and you upscale it and you enhance the colorations and you do all kinds of things to it then it becomes copyrightable so people can't just steal your images that you've put time and effort into right so I kind of like this I think that would sell this is the kind of thing that I think would sell well on Etsy but it would also sell well as an image that people would buy for their Etsy shops so again I'm selling the picks and shovels I'm not digging for gold myself I would come in here and I would enhance it I would increase the saturation levels I would upscale it so that this could be printed out in large sizes and there you have it that's a great business model all right that's some pretty cool stuff but if you want to go next level and do what I did the things that took me from being a truck driver to being an online millionaire no brag just fact click the link below and get in for free Booyakasha.